Lake Hobby on to kick it away. And it's taken by Rondell Moore. And the freshman electric returner and slot receiver tackled at the 17. The rugged tailback motions in. They fake it to him. Blau wants to throw in first down. And it's the catch made by Rondell Moore who escapes. Look out. He's got blazing speed and a lot of power to go to the 40-yard line as well. And they show pressure up the middle. Blau backpedals, has a clean pocket, but delivers way over the head of his tight end. He was pleading for a flag. Gets it away. They pressured him. And a fair catch made by K.J. Hill short-handed receiver who takes over at the 23-yard line third down team this year but the Buckeyes need 11 Haskins gets it out Campbell on the edge can he make a man miss no short-handed tackle over there and the Boilermakers force a punt finally the backup safety so early mental mistakes by Ohio State put it behind the sticks and here's more the punt returner who is just absolutely electric every time he touches the ball. Boilermaker field now on third and ten. Buckeyes bring some pressure. Blau again fading away and throws it over the head of Moore. And he is knocked down after the throw. Sean Wade in coverage there. Here comes the punt team. This time they peel back to set the return on the shot for a very high boot. Hill's going to come up and make a fair catch at the 25-yard line. So, but only 11 yards so far. Play action, and they sling it to the middle, and another catch up at the 45-yard line. Hill has a first down. All, and they drop out. And now Haskins, who rarely scrambles, is hit hard, way short of the marker. Marcus Bailey out of Columbus, Ohio, who is keyed up for this game, made the stop. Now, Die High Buckeyes did not offer him a scholarship. And he was highly motivated and had to feel good. That stop on the quarterback on third down. Buckeye special teams do a superb job. McLaurin, the receiver, flying down there, got a hand on it. And the Boilermaker is going to be backed up a foot from their goal line. Tough to do when you're pinned back this deep. He fake it. And from the end zone, he fires second completion. Catch made by Jared Sparks. And the man who came here from Louisiana as a quarterback, converted to wide receiver, moves the sticks. And 16, they get out from the shadow of the goalpost, and now here comes the reverse. It's a flea flicker. Blau looking for a receiver, tried to find the tight end, but Hopkins was well covered, so Harrison swallows him up for a three-yard loss. For the Buckeyes are getting in the backfield like that. So now on second and long, a long throw. A flag comes out as Moore makes the catch. Now there's defensive holding on Sean. He moved across the river to go to high school in Louisville. And now Blau's under pressure, and he's going to be slammed to the ground. Jonathan Cooper got there to clean it up. Chase Young is providing pressure as well. Walk onto a campus and do that. And play action. Blau makes a long throw. Moore, a juggling catch. The whole skill set on display. He's a very confident young guy, and he knew he was going to have the chance to make impact plays this year if he came to Purdue. It, you're right. This is big time recruit against big time recruit. Sean Wade, who's from IMG, Oscar ran for 150 against Illinois. A third down throw from Blau, and it's Moore across the middle. Beats his man again. Very tough to get to the ground with just one defender, and he's inside the 25. And you want to try to find Sparks. Blau backpedals, it's a screen, Knox has a lot of room, cuts it back, loses the football, it rolls out of bounds at the Buckeye 10, so Purdue retains possession, but it'll come back, right? Wrestled down behind the line, Markel Jones, touchdowns, kicked 11 field goals in the red zone, and now a throw to the end zone, caught touchdown! Isaac Zico! And Purdue goes 98 yards on the drive. How about Zico? A little bit of a bobble. Right foot gets down right there. And I think his foot, his right foot is in. Possession after the slight bobble. There's a, just a little bit of a bobble at the beginning while well, the left foot's down, but when the right foot touches there, he's got possession, and that is a heck of a play by Zico, who had a huge game a week ago. Aspen slings it near side, catch made, and McLaurin is knocked down right there. It'll be a first and goal. This is a great end. Haskins for the end zone. Deflected and knocked away. He was looking for McLaurin and Antonio Blackman was there to break it up. 
and the Boilermaker defense makes a stand. Ohio State had a couple receivers at the bottom with Dobbins. They're trying to create a pick there, but give a really outstanding effort by Blackman not to get strain. So Blake Hobiel, and so the family likes the name said. Now Hobiel, he's been the kickoff specialist, but a very they went and presented him with the game ball after he had to leave school as a result. Of his Packers facing a third and 19 here. Ohio State rushes four. The tight end Hopkins is over across the middle, but he's going to be short of a first down by a few yards for quick. Buckeyes don't really come after this. And now with the wind at his back, it's a deep boot that drives KJ Hill back to the six yard line, makes a fair catch there. And now it's Ohio State's turn to be 500 yards of total offense. Haskins pressured, trying to escape and is going to be knocked down for a short loss. That was Carnell Jones who got him. Willemakers rush four. So Haskins has time. That's an easy pitch and catch as Johnny Dixon grabs it and it's a first down. He did not. Now they need nine. Haskins is pressured, steps up, delivers a strike. K.J. Hill's got it again. Another first down to the 35. Accurate throw by the quarterback. Watch the pressure again. Watch him step into this as the linebacker Bailey hits him. That's a big-time throw by Dwayne Haskins. Wanamaker's bring pressure. Good protection. Low throw incomplete. It's fourth down. Ohio State. Drew Crispin to punt into the wind, and here's Rondell Moore coming up to make a fair catch at the 26 yard line. So, offense and what they need to do. He's in the backfield. Blau instead looks over the middle, and he's got the tight end running free. This is Cole Herdman, and he barrels well into Ohio State territory. The veteran senior tight end. And getting off the edge quickly there. No flag. Blau delivers across the middle. Moore, look out. Moore's tackle right there beautifully by Sean Wade. That time Wade got the better Last of that matchup. Yeah, it's fourth down. Chris, trying to pin Ohio State deep. Kicks it with backspin very high. And they are able to down it. So Purdue does its job on the punt team. So Haskins backed up, flips the screen to Dobbins. He's got blockers. J.K. Dobbins in the clear. He was just held up briefly. Still able to get a first down before Mosley drove him out yeah. last couple of games, but he's come up big so far. On third down, they bring pressure. Buckeyes pick it up, and Askins makes a long throw for a first down to McLaurin. There's a first for the career for the first time ever. From the pocket, Askins looking downfield for Hill, one of those guys, and he's dancing around inside the 20. Well, th th this is a little bit more zone here. Pick up the pressure for the end zone. Incomplete. Benjamin Victor was there, and that's Blackman who has broken up a couple of potential touchdowns tonight. How about the effort here? Because he's beaten on the left here. Good job of finding the big receiver. Look at the positioning of that football. Right where you want it to be, and out of nowhere, Blackman doesn't give up on the play and gets his left hand in there to knock that ball away from the long receiver, Benjamin Victor. For his second field goal attempt tonight, he hooked it. So he had been very, very solid filling in for the injured Nuremberger. The former quarterback at Louisville is. It's a first down handoff, and Knox breaks free. Knox in the clear, banging off Buckeye defenders out near the 40, and that should change the complexion of this drive now. The ball in behind them. Wow, pitches it downfield, has a man wide open. Zico! The man who made the touchdown catch earlier wrestled down at the 20. Wow, rolls that direction and delivers underneath. Touchdown! Moore makes up for the drop and reaches the end zone. And the fake field goal pays off big time. And 90 receiving yards in the first half for Moore. Haskins looking to throw. He's grabbed as he gets it off to Barry, and he makes a man miss and gets out across the 35-yard line. It's a first down. Him off the field on this first drive, so you're right. It's a big opening drive. Play action. Haskins has time and delivers downfield, and it's Mack slipping a tackle. Austin Mack inside the 40 before Major stopped him. There were... Haskins from the pocket on second and 10. Good protection. And has the tight end Farrell wide open. He's still driving those legs, and he's out inside the 25. Another first down. Trying to get Purdue's defense a little confused, and they are. They were not even lined up at the snap. And now on the edge, 
Barreling inside the 10-yard line is Campbell. Go back to that place. Down here in the red zone so far. And they throw a jump ball to Victor. Tried to make a one-handed catch. They're trying to pick on Blackman, and that has not worked. And the Boilermakers make another stand. Another stand. Hobbiles missed from 33. This from 23. And he knocks it through. But three trips for Ohio State. DJ Knox running left. That was a really interesting character. We've both been so impressed by his maturity. He's third down. And third and two. Blount thinking about a throw, and it's a strike across the middle and a first down out near midfield. You think you think Moore is a predictable target, but he's so tough to stop. Even a pin Ohio State deep. Kicks it high with backspin, and they ran into him. Now, he didn't run into him. He did a backflip into him, like a cartwheel into the punter. I don't know. I I, I don't know what happened here except indecision roughing the kicker defense number 53 15 yard penalty automatic first and it's down. Davon Hamilton the Devon Hamilton here does a cartwheel the Urban Meyer can't believe what he just saw defensive tackle doing a cartwheel into the punter it's a 300 pounder it's been a physical night for Shopper as a punter and a holder and puts the ball to 31 Wow, rolling out and delivers. And the catch is made by Jackson Anthrop, and the man who was the slot receiver a year ago before Moore arrived. He does. Wow's rolling the other direction, looks to throw back. And underneath, catch made. Muscling down to the one yard line is Hopkins. First and goal for Duke. Two tight ends. Old time, Big Ten football. Touchdown, Purdue. They bring five. Haskins has time and delivers a strike for a first down at the 31-yard line. Benjamin Victor. Come back to Victor. Haskins with his 40th pass attempt tonight. Loops it to Victor again. Another play. Buckeyes are back threatening inside the 10. He gave a fade to Blackman. Second and goal. Dobbins breaks free but will lose yardage. Lorenzo Neal got there quickly to move him backwards. Quickly is a great word. Watch how he shoots through this gap and goes right by Jordan into that backfield. Keep in mind, he's 320 pounds. Puts his left arm out there, slows going down here a lot. Haskins has time, tries to run it, won't get there. Stop at the two. Is he going to go for it? Let's see. Haskins, Hill, incomplete. Off his hands. Ohio State still cannot find the end zone. To the right. Boilermakers need six to avoid punting in the end zone. And Blau's being chased, and he just has to throw it away. That's a veteran move because Draymond Jones was hot in his heels. Drive. It's time he gets a low boot with the wind. It's a good punt. And it's going to be fielded at the 47. Hill. Shakes free. K.J. Hill turns the corner and spins inside the 35. So late third quarter down 15. Ohio State set up in Purdue territory. Boilermakers showing some pressure. They bring it. Haskins under pressure. Incomplete. He had zero time. Couldn't get it to Dixon. And the Buckeyes squander by far their best field position. Chrisman. Picks it, and Moore makes a fair catch at the 10-yard line. Being the more conservative, they scored 23 points a game. And Jones breaks free, first down, and much more. A crucial conversion before Fuller wrestles him down. It's good, good vision, good compliment there to DJ Knox. Interesting, Kirk, instead of playing slow and milking that clock, you're in a hurry. Play clock at one, gets it off. And Blau, underneath throw, catch made, fighting near first down yardage as Moore doesn't get there. It'll be fourth down. Chopper boots it, wind at his back, and Hill lets it land. This one's going to be a touchback. All around, how dynamic, how dangerous it is. As he flips a short screen, Dobbins has a couple blockers, and he's wrestled down short of the marker. That was Marcus Bailey making a clutch tackle. 
Todd Dobbins a yard short of the first down. And now Moore lets this ball bounce and will just get away from it wisely as they down it at the 24. While Blau rolls, had Zico open, didn't want him. Now fires over the middle, complete first down into Ohio State territory to Sparks, and he drags Buckeyes inside the 45. Blau, but he scrambled. More to the left. It's a quick handoff, and bursting up the middle is Knox. Dexter Phillip Knox, touchdown! Down in the red zone, when you had JT Bear with quarterback power running it in, it looked so easy at times. Hill with the catch, trying to get to the sideline, is shoved out. And with this different look, it's been so much more difficult to execute. Tim Kaysen. Protection. There it is. There's a the downfield shot. End zone touchdown, Johnny Dixon. And the Buckeyes finally reach the end zone and stay in this game. He just tonight. And on the end around, here comes Moore. Moore still running and runs backwards. He's right near the marker. He had gained sufficient yardage and kind of moved back. Jet sweep. Moore has got it. He's got the corner. Stop and go. Now he stepped out of bounds. Actually, he slammed on the brakes and then tried to accelerate. Kind of one of his patented moves. They fake it to him now. Knox cuts back. Knox in the clear. Foot race. Touchdown, Purdue. But the Buckeyes capable of creating big play magic across the middle. The catch is made by Victor inside the 40. Clock will stop briefly. He do bring pressure. He gets it out quickly. Caught. McLaurin, touchdown, Ohio State converts on fourth down and Hopkins scores the touchdown. To McLaurin, touchdown, Ohio State. Well, they gambled. Try win of his life, big by far. Knox pressured and spun down for a loss at midfield by Warner. Ohio. All the way down. It's more in motion. They get it to him. More in space. A burst of speed. A first down for Purdue. He's still going. More cuts back. that despite just shocking the world and pulling the upset, they, they're contenders in the Big Ten West. And it's intercepted. Bailey the other way. Marcus Bailey punctuates this upset with a pick six. Tonight is Purdue and the Boilermakers with a total effort. Tremendous coaching, calculated gambles that pay off. This one is for themselves, it's for the coaches, it's for their fans and the alums, and it's for Tyler Trent, who got his wish, who showed the toughness and the heart to make it here tonight and watch his team drub the number two team in the country. Final seconds, I won't even snap it. Boilermakers rush the field. What a night in West Lafayette. It's a rage. <laughs> the strobes are going off here. Have you ever seen this before? How about the timing of the strobe lights? They got the fireworks going off. They were ready for a party. Maybe they saw it coming. Nobody else did. They had to practice that. I mean, that was, that was right at zero. Not just an upset of an undefeated number two ranked team. A route. 35 points in the second half. Four fourth quarter touchdowns by Purdue.